One of the most underrated home venues in all of the NFL resides in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where we find ourselves at Nissan Stadium. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Tennessee Titans. Chad Ryland has this one teed up. And off we go from Nashville. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down and eight. Off the play fake, Levis. This pass deep for Akakwo. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Levis sets up to throw here. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On now is Ty Zentner to punt. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return, and the Patriots take over. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school, ended up at Houston Baptist. 
and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky, and he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard, knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. Zappi now on first and 10. That's complete. Demario Douglas with it. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. A seven yard pickup brings up second and three at the 44 yard line. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. From the shotgun, Zappi. They'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield, but as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. First and 10, Zappi. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield equally good. Second and 20. Again, it's Zappi. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Heck of a start for them here, Charles, on this opening drive, and they're doing it all through the air. That's four snaps and four passes so far. I do think that there's an argument, Brandon, to maybe mix in a running play or two, but the way that these offenses are constructed, you can get that done with swing passes and check downs. The way they're throwing it, I'd keep pressing it downfield. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Zappi off play action. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Here's second and 10. Off the fake, Zappi. Going for it all. And that is incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And that takes us from second to third down. Two. 
Zappi from the gun. And that will be incomplete as well. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Here's Chad Ryland now on for the field goal. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive stalls out, but the field goal does get them the first points of the night. And three points, not to be underestimated. How about this, right? You're on the road. You're under the lights. National television audience. This is not a dress rehearsal, partner. This is for real. And a pretty nice opening statement. Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now the pass, and it's into the arms of Hopkins. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. 48, 48. Here's Levis. He dumps it off for Henry. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and seven. Levis back to throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and six. They run once more with Stevenson. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. 
But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third down, here's Zappi. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. And it'll be Titan football. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. A short throw taken in by a Conquo. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. On second down, here's Henry. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle. And yeah, this is going to be a Titans first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Play action now, Levis. And brought in downfield by Burks. And nothing there after the catch, but he does get this down to the 43-yard line. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. After the penalty, it's Henry. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They'll run it again with Henry. Shoves him aside. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. A toss right to Henry. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Tackle made there by Jabril Peppers. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. 
That's a nice run. Probing now early to try and get things done later. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Inside handoff, Henry. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 17-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Bring it. Bring it. Levis. And he comes back with one complete. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. Here we go. Hawk 70, Hawk 70. They'll throw it again with Levis. This is caught. And it's a Titans touchdown. Traylon Burks, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown interception ratio is what? Three to one for the best quarterbacks. But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. Full connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was Traylon Burks capping things off with a touchdown catch. the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. 
Yeah, Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Zappi and the Patriots come up here, first and 10, right at the 30. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Aziz al Shair in to make the stop. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Zappi. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. But certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Zappi working from the gun. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, made the last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. And that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. down carry for Henry. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 24 now, here's second down and five. Again, it's Henry. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 58 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Henry up the middle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Here's a second and five. In motion is Phillips. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Sports. 
Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. Henry powering his way into the end zone. It's a touchdown. Well, I think Josh Norman can sympathize. He knows a little something about a run like this from Derrick Henry. I mean, that stiff arm might be the best in the business. No, oh, there's no doubt about it. We'll see that Josh Norman play forever and ever, won't we? Because at Derrick Henry's size, 6'3", nearly 250, you know he's not shying away from contact. And here he just kept the defender at arm's length as he barreled his way into the end zone. I mean, just put that arm into the chest, and there he goes. Now Folk for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. The drive summary that time, five plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. New England's offense set to go. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. If they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second and nine. Play fake, and now here's Zappi. And that's complete downfield to Parker. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one covers 29 yards, first down. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Zappi looks to throw it. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one. And that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. And he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. It's complete to Parker, left side. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And 
They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll throw again with Zappi. Short pass caught by Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So first and 10 now from the 30. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. Then everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's a second and nine now for the 29. Now Zappi. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 15-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's Zappi. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And Zappi to throw. Parker's got it. Touchdown, New England. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Pats have got it back to within a score. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And this fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. They begin with Henry. Fights through him. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. 81 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? 
when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down, they go again with Henry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans at a first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. They go play action. Here's Levis. Across the formation, Burks has it. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 33. Running from the gun with Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Back to throw, it's Levis. Over the middle, he has a Okonkwo. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 17-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. In motion is Phillips. He'll get it here on the jet sweep, and they'll get him down right around the 16. Kyle Duggar up to make the tackle. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Now second and nine. Levis to throw it. Over the middle, it's complete. And the Titans are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Titans are able to widen their advantage. You think back to some of the great goal line bruisers of the past, the Earl Campbells, the John Riggins, the Marshawn Lynches. I think you can put Derrick Henry right in that group as he scores there with another patented Derrick Henry run. For the extra point is Folk. It's good and it's 21-10. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run.
Raiders, the Titan kick team, as they run up and send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. We get another look at Devontae Parker and the Patriot offense. Last drive, the touchdown, four catches. Really good. He was. They were not good on the other side trying to stop him. What do they need to do? Well, this is where the entire staff has to get involved because we always focus on the defensive coordinator. But he needs help from other people with their eyes and their expertise, and he needs to listen to them. And sometimes you just can't afford to wait on a drive and say, okay, let's get to the sidelines and start over. You need to find a way in the middle of that drive to start taking away what's hurting you. Yeah, in series adjustments, and how do you do that? Well, what you do is you listen to what everyone else is telling you, what they're seeing, the patterns that are developing, and maybe you just start running extra bodies to take away that particular player. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Now Zappi. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He is putting on a show in this second quarter, racking up the receiving yards as he has a first down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Stevenson now on first and ten. The tackle there by Rashad Weaver. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. From the 48-yard line, here's the second and nine. Zappi back to throw. Complete, Hunter Henry with the grab. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Looking to throw, Zappi. Short pass caught by Henry. No gain on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage.
Here's Chad Ryland now on for the field goal. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that'll make this an eight-point game. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And Derek Henry and the rest of the Titans offense about ready to roll again. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good return for the guy. You know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now, and they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You know? I'm not good enough to play Stop the fantasy it. game. I enjoy watching you do it. You're an analyst. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ in my book. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Now a second and ten. Now Levis. That one's taken in by Spears. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Levis out of the shotgun now. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he goes out right around the 39. Eight yards there and a first down. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Levis to throw once more. And his throw is incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator. has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So a line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Levis sets up to throw here. They set up the screen for Henry. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Now again, it's Levis looking to throw it. A short throw taken in by a Conqueror. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. I 
can't believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After you the play. Here's Ty Zentner now. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. First and ten, Zappy. Over the middle, complete. It's Henry. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He'll look to throw. A thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll set up to throw. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off. Zappy now on first and ten. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Second and ten. They'll look to throw again. They set up the screen for Stevenson. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well, like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is indeed good, and that will do it for this first half.
So we've reached halftime here in Nashville, the Music City, with the Titans out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brad. Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Getting set to go again on offense. Here's Devontae Parker now. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Short pass caught by Henry. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Back to throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed. Not a good look. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And it'll be fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt, and they will take over first and 10. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. His carries tonight, they're getting up there. So maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Levis looking to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hopkins. And he'll be taken down right there at the 38. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And the busy night for Henry continues. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 110 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. You can't block me. You can't block me. Here's Levis. Over the middle into the hands of Burks. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Levis back to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now back to throw. Caught by his tight end, Wesco. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And Levis going back to the air. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown! Chigakonkwo, a 12-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Now Folk for the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a Tennessee score. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Hey, 
Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. At the 30 yard line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll look to throw here. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Zappi from the gun. He finds Douglas complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Running left is Stevenson. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Zampi. Out route, and this is Henry with a catch. So the pitch and catch good for 11. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the shotgun, Zappi. A quick throw there is incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Zappi looks to throw it. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. 
This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll set up a throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. False start, costly. Moves him back to the nine now, first and goal. Another throw coming for Zappi. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. On second down, Elliott. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And yeah, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Again, it's Elliott. And Zeke is in for a Patriots touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots are back within a score. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Now Ryland for the PAT. And this is back to a five-point game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. And you've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And past the 40. The 40's out of bounds. 
122 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. On first and 10, it's Spears. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. This is second and eight. Levis. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Levis from the gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Patriots 30. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Back to throw here. That's complete once again to Hopkins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Inside handoff, Henry. Juwan Bentley there to get him down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Here's a second and eight. Back to throw, it's Levis. This will be caught just inside the 10. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, here's Levis. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Pats will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. That pick hurts a little extra because it was third down. You were already in field goal range. You know what he's going to hear all night, all next week? Situational football. Understand what's going on because you expressed it perfectly. Three points were in their hip pocket. They had those. Now, those went by the wayside. You cannot make those kind of mistakes. It's what you call a rookie mistake. Zappy and the Patriots come up here, first and 10. At the 45. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Pass on the out route, caught by Smith-Schuster. And he gets this to the other side of midfield, across the 45 before going out. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. 
What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Going play action here with Zappi. His throw incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Zappy back to throw. Open receiver here. Complete. It's Parker. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 23. A good pick up there of 20 yards. here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. gun they give it to Stevenson and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run he gets maybe three just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry no not at all they did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up second and seven from the 20 Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and six. Now Zappi. Oh, no, he lost the football. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And the defense says they have it. Yes, they've got it. And they had it there so close to the goal line, a chance to take it across, claim the lead here in the fourth. Boy, that was a big, big mistake. It really was. And as much as I want to give credit to the defense for making the play, I do tend to agree with you. That mistake, that, that's a chance to go in and take, take the lead. I mean, you're in great shape, yet you don't take care of the football. But they'll be going over that like crazy in the upcoming weeks. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And brought in downfield by Burks. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. These guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. 
Meanwhile, Levis is... That's taken in by Okonkwo. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll make it third down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Levis to throw off play action. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Levis to throw once more. Open man, that's Henry. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They keep it with Henry on first down. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry, an 18-yard touchdown run. And the Titans will add to their fourth quarter lead. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over, and here a late turnover leads to a fourth-quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here, and they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Extra point up and good by Folk, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Hey. 
Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 26. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. On the tackle defensively, Jaleel Johnson. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And Zappi to throw. They'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. First down, here's Zappi. Complete, it's Henry. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Off the fake, Zappi. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Again, it's Zappi. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Zappi. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Stevenson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now a first and 10 at the 11. Looking to throw, Zappi. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. And that'll bring up second down. And right goes Smith Schuster. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he's brought down. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Elliott is into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. 
Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. We may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Ryland on for the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt continues to find it throughout this game and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live he might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest he knows how to get there and boy he looks happy when he does he's already bought all the property in the end zone that's the problem he's going to sell to himself now they begin with Henry Shoves him away, and he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just you give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. New England on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and five. That is caught. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans at a first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Henry up the middle. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage. But stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Now second and five. Levis sets up to throw here. Wesco, the tight end, making the catch. Seven yards there and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. Shifts past him at the 45. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage.
So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Now Levis. That'll be complete to Okonkwo. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. First down carry for Henry. A strong running. <laughs> and he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Second and five. You got nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> a toss left, Henry. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. draw play this is Henry and this won't do it he needed six he only got halfway there and now right out of the two minute break we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go and here's a big one now try to hold this lead they're gonna go for it here on fourth down They'll run for it with Henry. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Vrabel saw him on the sideline. He didn't even hesitate. They will go for it on fourth. They'll run. It's Henry. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Henry. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Henry is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. Oh, Brandon, I'm going to tell you, this is football time to me. They're inside the 10-yard line. That's like drawing the line in the sand. Who's going to make the stand here? Defensive guys, they know if he gets in the end zone, this ball game is over. And the guys with the football right now, they're thinking, let's just pound it in there. Got to hold him to three to keep this a one-score game.
A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Levis. And it's caught. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Fulk connects on the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. So here is Zappi and the Patriots down by 12, a little over 50 seconds remaining. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Here's Zappi to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Stevenson. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Here's Zappi. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Zappy to throw. He's got Henry. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did that? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency, not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.